Welcome back guys. We are back home at Halo. We've got a big leg session today. No subjects other than let's fuck Ryan's legs up. So gonna keep it raw, keep it interesting, try and provide some value throughout. I'll see you in there. The creases. If you buy trainers and you can't wear them, then don't buy them. session today we've got calf race to start always kick off my leg sessions with calves because they're tiny and i need to work them adductor leg extension seated hamstring curl and then we're moving into the fun stuff so we've got hack squat 45 degree leg press and then some walking lunges to finish so big leg sessions come with every exercise today i'm gonna try and give one tip one useful thing calf race here one thing that people think about as a cue is driving through the ball of the foot and trying to drive onto the ball of the foot. If we look at like the anatomy of the ankle in general, it actually inverts slightly as we go into plantar flexion. So we actually want to be going up and almost slightly out onto our pinkies a little bit more rather than trying to stay locked into the ball of the foot. So that's as high as I can get there. As soon as I start to allow my ankle to almost travel out a little bit, travel onto the outside of my base of my foot, get a little bit more shortening of the calf there. So it's a nice little cue and you'll feel the sensation that you get of that little bit more shortening at that bottom position. So give it a go. I'm in the big leagues, Tony don't miss me. Balling like Houston, hey, feeling like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh, send it too quickly. I'm making his dog. Like I'm in the big leagues, told him that I gotta go, dawg I'm riding a road, y'all, I think that I'm back in my bag now So I need that go, y'all, got hits when they throw in the fastball Just too quick for it My tip for adductors, actually train them Train your fucking adductors If you look at leg development from an aesthetic standpoint The adductor makes up such a large portion of the shape and size of your upper leg And from a functionality standpoint as well You want those guys to be fucking strong They are actually alongside the, the glutes and the hammies They're one of the strongest hip extensions So if you want to maximise your strength on other sort of big squat movements and patterns Such as leg presses, squats themselves, hack squats etc Then training those guys is going to have a nice carryover to them as well So aesthetically and from a functionality perspective Make sure you training them and make sure they're strong. Deserving not the hundred fans. Told them this was always in the plans. I just did it because they said I can't. Blowing euros when I'm down in France. Labels asking how I build a brand. Told them put a check up in my hands. What do you guys think I'm spending loads of time on my phone in this session? I'm uh, tracking all my weights on an app rather than a logbook at the moment. Trying it out. I think I'll go back to pen and pen and pad soon. Old school works better because I'll see a little message pop through and I'll get distracted. Just put the phone away. Maybe a little tip for you guys as well. Stay fucking Locked in and focused in your sessions. Leave your phone on, do not disturb. It's your time. Fuck everybody else. Yeah, told them I'ma hit it out of stands. I deserve another hundred bands. I deserve another hundred fans. Told them this was always in the plans. I just did it because they said I can't. Blowing euros when I'm down in France. Labels asking how I build a brand. Told them put a check up in my hands. Who I got time, no cap. Made a few checks, but they all in the rest. Had a few friends, but they suck in the past. I don't even trip when I'm thinking about that. Hopped in a whip and we all in play. Shawty wanna ride to the hop in the back. Right, so tip for leg extension. Align yourself properly. We're going through a movement that's very fixed in terms of its path. That pad is simply just going to move up and down. We want our hips, knees and ankles in a position whereby if we come to the front, thank you Eddie, as you extend, basically looking for the ankle to stay at the same width apart. That's a nice guide as to whether you're in a good position. You can do that simply just by coming here ahead of the pad. If I was to, let's say, allow my legs just to sit where they naturally want to and then get into the machine, if you watch my ankles, as I extend, because my upper thigh is slightly externally rotated and my thighs in, in general are facing outwards, my ankles want to come apart and then closer right and if you can imagine if my knee wants to sort of go in that direction but it's being forced to go in that linear direction that the machine's going through we're going to start to experience some weird forces going through the knee which is why some people might over time as they start to get stronger and stronger experience a little bit of knee pain a few knee niggles on the leg extension itself so in order to avoid that joint alignment is your number one priority when getting onto this machine and make sure that you've done those things and as you go through those Ankles want to stay at that same width apart. Yeah. Someone at the door, John. Now I'm here to stay. Tell me who the fuck gonna face the music. More brick land, less screen time. Been cutting back on the daily usage. Long road for the road dogs. For the weird miles from a soapbox. Got BKTs on this bitch. So everybody get a rolled on. Yeah. Yeah, everybody get a rolled on. Check artist credits on BMI. I'm just too kind to expose. Oh my days, that felt so good. Fun, I used to.
try and push myself back in the seat there. I found with this sort of strap around my waist and keeping my hips actually locked in, I can pull on here, really shove my hips into that path and then pull through nice and stable. And that can be the tip on this movement. Just rack a long belt around the back of the seat, whack it around your hips. Especially you guys that are much stronger, you'll find that at that bottom position, the weight is just trying to sort of pull your hips forward. You'll find that you're really extending your lower back and sliding out the machine. So anything you can do just to keep yourself nice and locked in and stable is going to help your ability to produce force within the movement. We know in terms of stimulus for hypertrophy, mechanical tension is up there with number one. So creating as much me mechanical tension within that muscle as possible is key, but that foundation is simply just being able to be stable, to be able to produce that force in the first place. So nice big tip there. And if you're not using it already, give it a go and see if it helps. Two full time jobs, when the fuck does he rest? Never when you want tan, teed up like kind of list on my friends. I'm in the shit to the end. I'm getting more with the drive to feel more on my mind, yeah. I'm still sore from the heavy lifting that I've had to do, but it's fine. How many legs I got up on a ship resembling a whole centipede? Where you might grow up with the competition. I've been residing where the rent is free. I got pregnant. I got a plane says why nobody is a friend of me. Fam roots deeper than I ever green. Clear us and them got a separate creed by any means. Step past seated. I'm in a cut with the gang gang. Damn, y'all can't stop the bleeding. And premonitions brought it on the life for me four years before I seen it. Stop asking that to let it be. Cause I love it when a warm up feels like that. Does anyone ever get that? You'd be like, say for this, for instance, you warm up on like one plate and it's like, oh, that feels heavy. Two plates, like, mm, that feels really heavy. And you get like just before you're working set and it'll just feel like a feather. It just shows the need to warm up properly. A big part of warming up is just preparing your nervous system to actually deal with the amount of load that it's actually going to have to deal with on that working set. So don't rush it. Just don't fatigue yourself. Don't do too many warm ups and don't push the reps too high as you're incrementing up in load, but at the same time, take your time. Make sure you're fully prepared because you will actually increase your performance if you warm up a little bit more and take your time rather than just jumping straight into that working set. So that can be the tip for hack squats, but all movements really, especially the big boys like this. Fucking love that feeling. No better feeling than that though. No worse feeling, but there's no better feeling. Fucking love being in that space in training. I nearly died, but I'm gonna fucking try for one more. And you get it up, that's good. I nearly stopped. I feel like I stopped for an eternity halfway through that rip on the way up. But we kept pushing. Tip number two, my hack squat and training in general. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> Nice, that continuous reps there. Just keeping as many back to back as possible without taking any form of pause at the top. Just keeping tennis on as much as possible. Creating as much of a stimulus as we can. You want to be conscious when you are performing big compounds like this. Getting into the habit of resting for ages up the top. You see people sort of come close to failure. They'll come up, they'll sit for 10 seconds. Basically, just performing one long extended rest pause set. And yes, it's going to allow you to get a few more reps, but in terms of like the longevity of that training cycle and your ability to continue to apply progressive overload and get stronger on that week on week, you're just going to bury yourself. The amount of Fatigue you're going to accumulate by doing that session on session, week on week. You'd rather just take a load of effective reps, pause, go again on set seven, set two, and take it at that. So if you're doing that, bad habit. Every now and again it's fine, but don't rely on it to, to get those extra reps at the end. Oh, I feel like my lunch is going to come up after. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Son of Augustine Stiley, you get me? Yeah, new whip outside is different. Ask me where to cop it, mind your business. Oh, yes. New Ooh. whip outside, I'm vicious. 
to get to that. Ask me where the cop it, I'll admit it. Can't you tell that I'm riding with it? Five or six, I can't find those digits. Line them up and say, mind your business. Don't you know that my mind is different? Can't you tell that I'm riding with it? Five or six, I can't find those digits. Line them up and say, mind your business. Don't you know that I'm riding with it? I'm riding with it. You can't see the size, ain't norm. I ain't reached my final form. I got a teach inside a storm. I got a reach inside it. No, I don't need beside it. By and large, I don't preach no violence. Right feet right beside it. I am calm. I am different. I enlisted. Fired up, but not find the mischief. I am one to find time and listen. Lighten up the entire district. I am one to take time and find it. If they hate, they can't ride beside us. New whip. This time we ride it. All my people know out of town. Yeah. Oh, cheers, man. Appreciate that. Me sitting here right now is my tip for this movement. <laughs> After big compounds like this, don't be afraid to take a long old rest period. Don't take the piss, but take enough to be able to adequately recover to perform well on that second set. Don't rush into it. You'd rather take a little bit more rest, improve your performance on the second set, than try and take like a time rest period of one to two minutes on this. I'll sit here for three, four, five minutes sometimes, get myself ready and then go again. Don't you know that we timeless? Mm. That team we cop can't hide it. That team we drop can't find it. That new car drop we ride it. I'm gonna park up right beside a full time rapper. Check my mileage. I gotta move the minus. Uh, I hey, Dodd. Still alive. King B. They say I done enough. They can't see. I'm not a runner up. King B. The finisher. High rep walking lunges. Start off with a little bit of weight, 20 kilos. Try and get as many steps with a bit of weight as possible. Once we start to hit fatigue, drop those, continue to body weight. Going sort of 40, 50 steps, which usually works out as all the way down the track and all the way back. So I'll see you back here in about three or four minutes. Before we start these, tip on walking lunges. Nice and simple. As you're stepping, just make sure that you're not stepping one foot directly in front of the other. We want to be nice and stable. You see people sort of wobbling about as they're doing these. Most of the time, it's just because they've got a very shallow base of support. So as you step forward, almost stand with feet hip width. And then every time you step, just bring that foot directly forward. So you're almost having a little bit of a staggered stance like that. And you'll find that you're a lot more stable and able to lock in through each step. So rather than on a tightrope, stay on train tracks. The beach is a bathtub. Look, shit bang. Going my way for a hot sec They want me to cool off, nigga, not yet I'm a tenant change, I gotta set it straight I had to drop a couple Williams on the tennis chain Had to make the image levitate to keep them entertained I might shoot my shot at LMA Oh, y'all thought this was a joke I did not follow directions, bitch, I made it on my own I'm interested in making ends opposed to making friends Double bangs, I've been paranoid having the safest sex I'll take the check, finishing this drink shit only take a sec But Mark just cut me off and told me that I go on stage in 10 Walk out to my own shit on the main event Javinci, my cologne after the show She told me that shit was a favorite sense Bring the van spacious, we can take your friends What happened next, you can take a guess uh, I can deal with the legs I don't give a shit about my legs hurting all lungs at the end. That's how we finish a leg day. And now his leg's done. Fucking awesome session. Absolutely love that. I'm ruined now. But uh, if you don't feel ruined after legs and you've done it wrong. Hopefully, throughout each one of those exercises, you picked up something useful. You picked up a good few tips you can use in your own leg days. So if that was valuable, if that was useful, please comment below. I always really uh, appreciate when people are sort of engaging below, asking questions. Anytime you guys want to sort of learn anything else, feel free to just reach me out on Instagram or reach out on Instagram, DM me on there, any questions, anything, always happy just to help you guys out, that's what I'm here for. As always, do all that YouTuber stuff, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. How do me and Eddie always turn up in exactly the same outfit? It's copying me, man.